This is Crime Cruise, Love Boat Exposed. Saturday on the Love Boat. The podcast that hunts down and tears apart shenanigans on this classic TV show. I see an awful lot of bodies who really have nothing to be ashamed of. When laws, morals, and behavior go rogue. She's a student of marine biology, and I know a lot of marines who like to study her biology. We are there. Saturday on the Love Boat, Julia's game to join an all-male club, but she's shocked the things they ask her to do. Now, from Studio 109, welcome aboard. I think it's time you and I got to know each other better. A man looks very lonely at sea. Yes, I can imagine. Season 2, Love Boat, Episode 4, steaming right along across the Pacific Ocean. Seeing all kinds of weird stuff. Touching episode last week. Don't know where we're going this week. This is Crime Cruise, Love Boat Exposed. I'm your host, Rob Springer, with my co-host. Charlotte Jones. And out there, listen, I was going to say west of the Rockies. Is Utah west of the Rockies? It's not. Is I think, it? I think it is. I think we're like just on the, the risk. Wow. That's yeah, a, wow, that's a nice brisk. word. Brisk. Jeez, I like that. Isn't that a... I just know he's two hours behind. Okay. Three, right? Two, right? Two. 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 Okay. Two. I know my what, time zones, Rob. Three He's is California three. time. Yeah, three is California time. <sighs> okay. That's Cali time. Oh, uh, yes. Which I just have to say, I just ordered my Snoop on a stoop for my Cali. That's pretty good. <laughs> for my Cali mantle. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never known anyone that had one of those. Oh, I'll send you photos. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see pictures. Oh, you will see them, Caleb. Don't you worry. He has a Godfather shirt on. It's great. It's the literally the best. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Crime Cruise, Love Boat Exposed, as I said. And co-host Charlotte, how would you describe this show? What do we do here? Every week, we come here and watch episodes of The Love Boat from three different perspectives. And we call out all the shenanigans and tomfoolery, yes. Caleb, as he likes to say. On the show, but sometimes we have heartwarming episodes, and sometimes we just have ones that don't have that much insanity, but we still pick them apart. Yes, and we've done this for over uh, two dozen episodes, I think. Oh, at a this lot point. of time, yeah, yeah. We've and we witnessed... still have like twenty former seasons to go. God, right? I know we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've witnessed a lot. I'm not even going to go down the list, but we could check off every yeah. box of human indecency. Right, really. and Caleb is getting an yeah. education on the 70s, I know, which I, I love. I love that we're educating him a little bit. Me too. I can't yeah. wait till we get to the 80s and oh he can God. see all the like crazy trade <laughs> cocaine. I will tell you, I might have said this before in season one, I did take a peek at some of those episodes, and I actually did see most all of them when I was a kid, but I've forgotten generally. But right. I did see the village people okay. show up. Ooh. I did see transgenderism. I love this. Okay. I did see same-sex marriages. Okay. And wow. uh, all that. And that's just from just taking a quick peek. I can't imagine right. what else there might actually be. Oh, uh, there's a lot of things going on. We have people getting keyholed. We have people <laughs> getting stuck We've in Doc's a, office. We have stowaways. Attempted murder, like, yes, Every other episode. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Kidnapping, like, every other episode. I just say I did enjoy the keyholing, though. Oh, you did? Well, Have you been keyhole before? I'm not going to talk. Oh, all right. Oh. This sounds like something that would be on OnlyFans, Caleb. A keyholing. No, he's got his elbow OnlyFans. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but Rob might have his keyholing OnlyFans. Rob's got his keyholing sure. yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, sure. Make fun of it. One day you'll be <laughs> figuring it out. Um, just like we figured out. Producer Caleb became a man oh, at the yeah, end of did. season one. Mm -hmm. So now he's True. like, you're living this adult life now. He's a real boy now. Right. How does it feel? <laughs> uh, it's scary. I hate it. I want to go back. Right. Make me a kid again. <laughs> me please. too. Adulting <laughs> sucks. How it often does. are you shaving at this point? How often am I shaving? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't answer. Well, every Look at that. He, was, he did answer. Same as me. We're in the same bracket. <laughs> I'm in like yeah. 45. So like the same bracket. Yes. <laughs> Twice a day. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to roll the first clip, and this is episode four of season two. Okay. I spy a Bosley from Charlie's Angels, another Aaron Spelling show. And let's see what this is all about. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, the uh, pleasure was almost mine, Miss uh, Stoke, Bonnie Stoke. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I must have my head in the cloud. It's the first time I've been on a ship. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, then you have to let me show you around. Do you mind if I don't call you Al? It was my husband's name. As Shakespeare said, what's in a name? But then, what's he written lately? It's not a no, no, I have a middle name. Cornelius. Oh, I like that. Well, then Cornelius it is. Now, it's afraid I helped you. Oh, thank you. I'm Anita Carmichael. This is a present for my ex-husband. It never did work, but then again, neither did he. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I think that does it. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Evelyn, so you're bleeding. What can I do for you? Have dinner with me. A late dinner under the starry skies, the rippling water. I'm on to him. Three. Mm -hmm. He's incredible. He's out of his mind. Those three ladies are traveling together. <gasps> oh, mistake for him. I almost was about to give him props and be like, that is like, he's like, even though he looks that way, he was being like a really good player. He was about to like solidify three girls. I was feeling beyond sex and conquest. I was feeling like he's got a bigger scam going because he's just throwing that net out there. So maybe he's going to steal from them all their I jewelry. Know. I don't know. You know who does know? Caleb. Oz, the man behind the curtain, producer Caleb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything we should know or you want to just keep tight lip back there? Uh, this episode's theme is Salise Bowl. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? <laughs> I think that's okay. that's the best way to sum up this episode. All right, we're, okay. never, Bowl. we're never that far away from that. <laughs> no, we're never, because we have the doc in almost all these episodes. Yep, so, like, <laughs> literally. Oh, oh it's... Oh! Gonna win an Academy Award with that. Sonny Bono. Not, there's something, it isn't, there's something missing. I do Anguish. That's it. Anguish. Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect. That face. That face. That face. That face. We're watching two hippie dudes in our pocket. Perfect. Trying to work out a scam. It looks like. Does this mean Shear is going to show up? Col I, Cal I, I, Caleb. Does he show up? Does she show up? Does Shear show up on the boat? No, not this. Not this Wait, episode. Wow. Ooh, He's holding out as episode. if he knows she's coming on a future episode. I don't, she might well, have been too big for this show. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm making it up or not, but I'm pretty sure I remember seeing like, like her credit was like a couple episodes on IMDb. Oh, okay. Way back when she was on the, on the show the first time. Oh. Okay. Well, that was Sonny. Sonny Bono. It was Sonny Bono. And then he was talking to a dude that had a beret on. It, dudes, if you ever want to get laid, do not wear a fucking beret. I thought you were going to say, I really thought you were going to say, do wear a beret. No, I was going to say, do not. Well, that explains my entire mist. Don't you remember in Christmas Vacation, they literally laugh at him. Or no, not Christmas Vacation, like Family Vacation, when Rusty has on the beret <laughs> and it has his name on it. <laughs> and they're literally on top of the Eiffel Tower and like the dog flies over. Like, no. no well, one a beret would have worked except for the name on it. That's the problem. You, you know what I did? didn't know word. until like a couple weeks ago it's just how many damn national movies that he made, that he made. oh right. yeah yeah there were, I, I just i just thought of like the three of them like you know the original the christmas oh, no, the one, no, no. and then europe i didn't i had no idea there was like 20 of them oh, like, chevy that's... chase kept going you know the crazy yeah. thing is that rusty's sister in real life is blake lively Really? Yes. On one, they changed the sister out a couple times. No, his real life oh, sister. It, wait, oh, from Rusty, the actor that plays on Vacation. His real life sister is Blake Lively. What is his wow. name? He was just in one of the remakes of the final uh, episode of a uh, Halloween. One of the remakes of oh, Halloween. Oh, he was okay. Yes. Gosh, who played Rusty? I'm looking it up right now. He was actually now. on the cast of Saturday Night Live for a short while with Robert Downey Jr. I love Anthony Robert Michael Hall. Years. That's his name. Anthony Michael Hall. No, I don't think Anthony Michael Hall was Rusty. Rusty, well, you're right. Yes, I'm um, typically <laughs> correct. Oh, my God. How did you do that? Listen, Charlotte. Rob, Rob is, he's an enigma. He's his brain. But is it his play by Jason Lively? Hmm. Try to understand. Try to understand. I'm, 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 I got it. I got it. I'm listening to you. All right. But the one thing I don't Ooh. like about the National Lampoons is how they always are changing the ages of the brother and the sister. Like one oh time, God, I know. it's like the sister is older than the brother is younger. And like, it's very confusing. They also did other National Lampoon movies that some of them, most of them fell flat. Like there was a, a Ryan Reynolds did a, a National Lampoon movie, maybe the last of the branded National Lampoon movies, and it was called Van Wilder. Well, that's weird because he's married to Blake Lively. Oh. Oh. Touché. We just brought this full circle. Uh, it all Wait. comes around. Incest, just like episode yeah. two. Just like episode God, two. Producer Caleb, with your 
Utah thing. All right. Yes. How bad is it, Doc? Not bad at all. In fact, I think his lungs are perfect. He didn't fall in his lungs, Doc. He fell in his back. <laughs> well, he's got a slight bruise near the lumbar. Oh! Sonny Bono pretending. But, uh, Pulling a scam. I don't think uh, there's any damage to the disc. Doc is on to him. Oh! And again, working. I could be wrong. Well, we're going to sue anyway, Doc. Yeah, we're going to sue. Um, I mean, I don't know how long my kid brother's going to be in the hospital. For all I know, he could spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. <laughs> this is a scam. It is. Let me show you around. It is. Or a way to get painkillers. It is a scam. And it's interesting the way all the bad guys or thugs on the love boat yep. are like from Brooklyn. They all have that New York accent. <laughs> they, they do that a lot. It's strange, but true. Uh, well, you know what? Producer Caleb is not from Brooklyn. No, he's not. I'm he, not. He's from um, Tennessee. Australia, uh, Tennessee. All right. According to someone who I met two years ago at a Little Caesars. Oh, God, uh, at a Little Caesars. <laughs> He he asked if I was from New Jersey. Oh, get so out of I here. I could may as well be from that area. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I was joking. Hey, Carl, you're from Brooklyn or Queens? No, no. I'm from Bronx? like uh, right Bronx? above the Bronx, okay. a, couple, a mile or two from the Bronx. Okay. Well, he, so he did then proceed to hit on me and then ask if oh, he could have wow. my crazy bread. Um, Your crazy bread? Yeah. So it's <laughs> safe to say I've never saw that man again in my life. Yeah. And I'm very grateful for it every single day. And I hope but, you didn't share your crazy bread. Oh, I did not. No, Good. no. My okay. crazy bread stayed way far away from him. Good. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Next clip. We have something else to celebrate. I can't believe I forgot to tell you. I got a promotion. And hey, that's great, honey. They want to make me a buyer for the whole store. Well, you got to take it. Well, why wouldn't I? I thought now that I'm back, you'd want to spend a little more time at home. This is a couple we've not seen yet. Oh, but Dave, this is such a great opportunity. Well, they all are such faith in me. Look, I know I could be good at this. Of course you would. You'd be good at anything you tried. But the thing that you're best at is being my wife. Oh, my God. Oh. Boy, did I brag about you, my buddy. Keep her in the seat. kitchen. I told those guys you can cook up a Sunday dinner that would put the Ritz to shame. And that you've got a shape that makes Charlie's Angels look like Hogan's hero. So we just brought up Charlie's Angels and we have Bosley on the ship. Uh-huh. And, and wasn't we, there a Hogan's Heroes? Oh, dear God, there was. Episode? Bob Crane, who's at this point in this filming schedule, has been murdered in real life. Yikes. I know. Mm. Sad moment. Doc. Oh, well, Probably some murdered context. because he said that shit to a female. <laughs> I would have murdered him, too. Good point. Good, good, good segue, by the way. I'm just saying. They checked off a lot of boxes of past stars here. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, the gentleman, sadly, I know too much information, like you said earlier about yourself. He was the lead of Eight is Enough. Mm -hmm. He was Grant Goodeve. And I know his name pretty well because I used to watch Eight is Enough. Willie Ames was on that show along with 12 other people, I think. And I had an audition once for a Lifetime movie. And I got into callbacks, which means from like 3,000 people, they choose five. And he won because he's a pretty boy. Mm. Not so pretty. You Dang. are pretty, Rob. Oh, oh, dear God. Tell you me are, again. You are very pretty. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you guys like some context of who these, these characters Please. are? Yes. yes. So that is uh, Captain Steubing's godson. <gasps> His dad is best friends with Captain Steubing, and he just got out of the military from two years of service, and that is his soon-to-be wife. Oh, wow. He talks to her that way. Wants her cooking? Yeah. I, I really didn't like how she was like, you know, I could really I could really make some serious money here. And he's like, yeah, babe, well, guess what? Back in the military, me and the boys, I would just say that you are smirking yeah. and you cook good, and that's the only two qualities I see in you, babe. Yeah. Like, like, and if she's going to stay at home all day, what is he doing? I don't know. One thing's for sure. He is a butthole. Well, yeah, this is why women took mommy's little helpers is because they were stuck home all day. Right. And he was mm -hmm. doing it in a way that wasn't overt, like some of the last scenes we've seen in other shows. He was doing it in a way like, oh, no, I mean, you're cool. Uh, you're just going to stay in the kitchen and, uh, and show you're off. you're shapely. Yeah. <laughs> show off your figure. Hey, we'll have a stack of babies, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're gonna take we'll be right sure. back with more Love Boat Exposed. Go to loveboatexposed.com to send us a message, leave a voicemail, or learn more about the show and our team. 
Who knows? You might just be invited to the captain's table. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard. I'm speaking for my entire crew. He sure is. You know, I met your mother again recently. Yes, she did. Co-host Charlotte. And uh, she was telling me a story about one of her excursions on a cruise in 1969. And, all right, stop snickering over there, producer Caleb. Sir, I I heard 69. Yeah, I know you did. Ha ha, big joke, funny man. And she said, wow, I had this whole thing happen, and I'm not going to reveal her story, but I said, wow, we'll have to have you on the show to talk about your experiences on one of these real love boat situations. And she says, funny, I haven't been invited to the captain's table yet. Oh. I thought she was witty. And she won me over in that moment. Okay. Okay. Well, because she listens. Betsy Jones listens to the show. Oh, she does. Yeah. We love you, Betsy. Yeah. Thank you. Call out to Betsy Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, next clip. <laughs> Sonny Bono. <laughs> oh, Gopher's pretending he's having a heart attack. It's almost like he's mocking the scam artists. <laughs> Gopher is overacting a heart attack. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Oh, gee, if, if you like my Jerry Lewis impression, wait till you see my Dean Martin. Everybody loves somebody. I've never seen my impression of a purser getting fired. Oh, fired no, he dead. always threatens that. He always threatens that. But you guys want to know how poorly this joke aged? So, firstly, um, one of the people that uh, Gopher mentioned had a heart attack in 1960. Mm. Um, and then they both died from heart complications. The two oh, people gosh. that Gopher mentioned. Hey, you want to see my impression of this person having a heart attack? Wow. Yeah. I had to Google it because I was like, I didn't understand the reference. And then I was like, oh, ouch. That, that is kind of hard. Didn't... That is kind of hurtful. Ooh. <laughs> I'll tell you another thing that Captain, he always has this thing chambered. Which is Gopher, you're fired. Yes. He's always ready to fire Gopher. Yeah. Okay. And he hasn't really been able to fire anybody else. No. Whatever happened to the captain from the last episode, the pretend captain who disregarded the hurricane notices? What happened? Did yeah, he get fired? Did he get fired? He he didn't get fired. No, I think he's unfortunately running his own ship or something. Oh, I don't know. Well, thank God we're not on I'd that cruise. S- I'd love to see that cruise episode, to be honest. Cruise from hell, really. All right, guys. Let's see where this goes. Oh, yes. He's just the person I need. Bosley. Could you possibly help me with his strap? Guy that's hitting on three oh women. God. Touching her ivory skin. Oh, rap. I, uh, I think it has to be retied. Maybe we better go into my cabin. Oh, boy. Her Uh-oh. breasts are falling oh. out. He's going. Oh, uh, shoot. I accidentally I untied her dress. I care problems like this. You've said that before, Producer Kayla. Charlotte. Huh? That's true. <gasps> when are you going to stop living? In the past. I guess now. Whoa. All right, they're making out. I guess I I know where that's going. I just want to just mention just how, again, sleazy is the theme of this episode. Yeah. And her name is Charlotte. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. she, I didn't. I think Rob and I were talking, but she was like, you know, my ex husband who died used to do this for me, and he was like, "Damn, that sucks." Yeah, right. Anyways, how much money come did here he leave you? Me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. I interrupted that. That's kind of a key moment there, yeah. sleaze moment. He had the largest pockets I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Comically large. Once again, collars, ties, bow ties, bow all ties. The things. Make them large, and that shows your virility. Yep. Hmm. And you know what I'm talking about, producer Caleb. Oh, is that true? Yeah. He does? Ask Caleb. Okay. I don't know. Don't ask me. Never seen Caleb in an oversized bow. Oh. Okay, this is post-coitus, this Are couple. You in there? They just made whoopee. It's us, Bonnie and Anita. You can meet them right now. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, he's Wait been hitting Bonnie. on all of them. Bonnie and Anita, you're your friends. Yes. He just well, pieced well, it together. Yeah. Yes, he did. Uh, never mind. I understand. Oh, <gasps> saved by the bell. Yes, another great show. 
<laughs> we got to take that show apart at some point. We, we have to, because there's so many things wrong what with that. What would we be talking about in Saved by the Bell? Oh, A.C. Slater, Zach Morrison, but, I mean, all the people. Well, there's already Kelly, we should, we should do Degrassi. Yeah, yeah. Degrassi oh, that's a would good be idea. I've never good seen one, it. So. don't know what it is. Okay. Degrassi had Drake in it, right? Yeah, and he got shot and ended up in a wheelchair. Oh, uh, <laughs> that yeah, kind of sounds like a rap song. Crazy, Kins. It sure does. <laughs> Well, he was saved for sure, but Drake was on Degrassi. I didn't know that. <laughs> this is all from producer Caleb. He's saying these untruths. Oh, is he? Is he? Yeah, he's gonna have the entire West Coast rap community come after him. Oh, I don't. I think yeah. Drake is Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> he's got family in Canada. Uh, they are not God. safe anymore. <laughs> His passport works in Canada. He's Australian. I'm gonna have to leave some of this in, but not all. Okay. So, all right. Well, let's you know. Let's see. There's Grant Goody, the, the captain's. Grandson. No, no, godson. Grandson. Godson. Godson. Okay. And we see the godson. captain's godson took all the hair in the family. Yes, there all of it. Go. I've had two years of growing up too. Two years of thinking about what I want. A home. A family. Spoiled child. It's perfectly normal, isn't it? Of course. If two people want it at the same time. Lots of women want what I want, Laura. Fine. If all those women are lined up waiting for you, why don't you go find one? I did. What? Oh my. Wow. Jeez. Does she not think it's her? Oh. No. Well, no. She, I, I mean, he basically, just, he, he, I, he basically just said that he's, yeah, he's been with other women. <laughs> You could wow. reverse that, and Charlotte, who is the the most positive thinker of us here, is thinking that he was talking about her. And producer Caleb and myself were thinking he found another woman, and it turns out he found another woman. I was thinking he was talking about her. That's your romantic. Well, yeah, because I would like for it to work out, but like obviously they want different things. Right. Like she wants to make money and have her own apartment and pay her own bills. Nothing wrong with that. No, and he wants her at home cooking and like... In a being right, being like being home yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Mm. Just give birth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next cliff. <laughs> it was in Turkey. I was lonely. <gasps> oh God. I was. You were human. I know how that feels. Oh, it's understandable. True. Wait, being what? Like... Dave. I was human too. Me too. What did you oh, say? God. I was giving. Everything I had to mom, I guess I needed someone to give something back. And I trusted you. I trusted you. Oh, he, screwball. He just admitted he cheated on you. Hypocrite. Yeah. Hypocrite. Yeah. Hypocrite. Does it not count when you're in a different country? No, it doesn't. It no. doesn't? It, no. like, 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 does a different oh. zip code count or like a different Sorry, area babe, count? I was, I was in the military, so it's okay that I can sleep with as many women I want. But when you sleep with a single other man... That's where I draw the line. That's where he draws You're the line. You're the bad guy. All right, we got another elephant. And he's only admitting to one person, by the way, which means he's really admitting to 25. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Did yeah. I hear Did I hear this right? Did producer Caleb say he was in the military? No. Oh. No, I was I was being the oh. the godson. I, yes. was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking we had like an 11-year-old Australian army boy here. Well, I mean, he could have been, but he's not. Well, I mean, Okay. Well, if he was from Australia, he'd be fighting for the Chinese army. Well, yeah, he would be at this point. Oh, dear God. Okay. Next clip. I, well, the I British know. army. I think they like well, the convicts. And I, I would be fighting with the emus. Okay. Thank you very much. That's I appreciate that's that, Caleb. Side. Aren't those related to ostriches? Emus? I, I'd assume so. They look similar. Literally, they're like giant dinosaurs. Huh. Yeah. I'd like to see producer Caleb fighting along with them. Yeah, I went to him. Some, see the whole, you know, coming across the battlefield. That's your next assignment, Caleb. Right. Fighting with the emus. <laughs> Damn, they're great. Okay. I'll well, right. Alongside of them, not fighting, <laughs> not fighting Don't fight them, them. Don't but fight them. fighting alongside oh, no, I, them. I will lose a fight against Dude, emus. Dude, that would be the best Hunger Games ever. I know. Is fighting. if you had someone, like, fighting above. Like, it could be, like, District 13 or, oh, like, 14 shit, or good. something. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just don't do it now because we need you. Yeah, we well, yeah. Here in the States. All right. Oh, what? Uh, excuse me, doctor. Yeah. Is there some way that I can uh, get off this ship? Uh, it's, it's an emergency. Well, I don't suppose it could have anything to do with the lovely ladies in cabin uh, A278. Mm -hmm. But Doc knows all. Oh, don't tell me I'm the last one to know their roommate. 
No surprise there. Doc, no, Doc, Doc knows everything. Real. Doc knows who, who the roommates are. What? But I love are. how Doc is the sleaziest person on the ship, and he's like, oh, now you need help? Like, really? <laughs> Let me just give you some assistance. Yeah. This is the hypocrite show. Yeah, this is the hypocrite Episode show. Episode yes. four. Undeniable. <laughs> huh. All right, guys. Next. Heading towards the end here. Terrible. Charlotte's gone to my cabin. Bonnie is due here at nine. Big boat and I'm meeting Anita on deck in an hour. I guess I'm going to have to just play this game through to the end. If it weren't so serious, I wouldn't mind having your problems. Can I offer you a free lobotomy? Uh-oh. Uh, what does that even mean? To erase your mind? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that... The- the doc was like, oh, wow, yeah, that re- you have a real problem there. Dang, three women want you, and <laughs> right, right, right. You, just, you just don't want to communicate that you're sleeping with three different women. Ah, oh, shoot, why- can I kill you and take your place? Yeah, which is why he's also <laughs> not being very helpful. No, <laughs> we do know that they uh, this dude got in the doc's way on this yeah. episode because the doc had to take a backseat to Bosley from Charlie's I think we Angel. call that a cock block. Cock block, complete yeah, yeah, cock yeah, block. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Grandma. All right, guys. All the grandmas out there. All sorry, the grandmas out there. Probably a lot of grandmas watching the show. I hope so. Oh, well, I do too. Sorry, grandma. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on? Captain with his godson. Laura, it's over with Laura and me. What's this all about? While I was gone, Laura's with someone else. My wife slept with another man. Asshole. What? And, yeah, I know. and did you not sleep with other women? Right. Like, no, because you. Because apparently that's allowed. That's okay. Right. Wow. So he's tattletaling to the captain too, and making it sound like he didn't have any part in it. Mm-hmm. Producer Caleb Sleazeball. God, Sleazeball. I mean, that's from three directions. We both recognize that. Is there another clip in this in this episode? I. Can't remember. We can we can run it. There's and see a what little happens. bit on the gauge here. Let's oh, there is. Yeah, I think there's a small little small little clip right to okay. end All this right, episode off. Here's the last little clip of the show. So we're in the Rorina. What do you say? Just the two of us uh, with the wind in our hair and the mood in our fingertips. <laughs> there he goes again. She's a lucky lady, aren't we all? <laughs> oh my God! All right. I, there was there was no like redemption or anything for no, those ladies because she's a woman. <laughs> they were all like, well, usually like lovebird. It's like, oh, this man's cheating on three different women. He, they find out and they rip him a new one. But the fact that he is like onto this like the same trick, like, oh, I'm going to talk to this new lady who's coming on the boat, and the three chicks who he basically I don't know used played with. I don't know was like, oh wow. She's a lucky lady. Yeah. And he's we're the lucky ladies lover. that we get to be with him. But like what kind of ticket did he buy that he gets to just stay on the cruise again? Did wow, he just buy right? like a like a like a three week ticket? I don't know. My thought is in the offices of Aaron Spelling, Spelling Productions. Right. They said we let's put Bosley from Charlie's Angels, another one of our shows, onto this episode. And Bosley said, I forgot his real name in real life, but it's David something or another, I think. He said, I'm not gonna do this episode unless I'm the complete ladies man. Probably. And that was his contingency. And they followed through because, man, he's out docked. <laughs> he has out docked the dock, and that doesn't happen often enough. So, no. for that, I give him, uh, you know, the episode's VIP. And also, they actually mentioned Charlie's Angels on this episode. They did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. And they mentioned Fonzie and the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've been all over the place. Was well, the love boat an Aaron's Belling show or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, okay, oh, completely. Okay, okay, completely. Okay, okay. As was Charlie's Angels and a whole lot of other shows. Oh, like he, everything. Yeah. On TV. And he had a great relationship with, uh, with as well with uh, ABC, of course, because right. like, half the show's tr- uh, also uh, Fantasy Island. Yeah, yeah. And a bunch of other stuff. Well, this is why Donna Martin had to graduate. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 90210. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of money mm-hmm. in the coffers of Spelling Estate. Mm hmm. Well, we're at that time, guys. Thank you. Yes. This was a lot of fun. Uh, absolutely. Producer Caleb, how's it going over there? You got anything to tell the audience? <laughs> uh, perfect- I sure do. Well, I'm going to just say this. Producer Caleb has perfected our sign-off. So as much as I or 
co-host Charlotte would like to do it, we have to just sort of yeah, defer, tip defer, our hat, tip yeah. our beret to him. Tip, tip your tip non-existent hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with a friend, and we'll see you on the cruise next week. We're sailing away, but we will be back with a new episode of Crime Cruise, Love Boat Exposed. Make sure to subscribe. We're on all your favorite podcast platforms and connect with us at loveboatexposed.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, but I have duties on the bridge. Good evening. Good evening.